<gasps> hello, 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 everyone. I'm so happy to be doing this video here. It's not going to be a paranormal video, but it is going to be about horror movies. Who doesn't like horror movies? I have a horror kitty right here. Hey, come here. Come here. Say hello. Hello, hello. You see how he is so lazy? I was like this all day. Hello. Huh. This is Jack. This is Jack. Bucka, 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 bucka. Anyways, guys, that's Jack. My son's cat, he named him off of um, one of R.L. Stein's um, haunting hour shows from... He's named after the kid who befriended a zombie. Really cool stuff. Today, I just wanted to talk to you about some things that I like. Um... I have my collection of horror movies here. It's not a very big one, but hopefully it'll grow. I would like to get more of the classical horror movies like Jason, um, Freddy. Uh, I want the second Fright Night that came out. This is the original first Fright Night that came out, I think, in like the 80s. Then there was a second one that followed, which was Fright Night Part 2, and I definitely would like to find it. Um, I love the, the vampire and the werewolves, so probably a few of my movies are consisted of vampires and werewolves. Since I'm from New Orleans, I can tell you this, we have a lot of people here who think that they're vampires. They drink blood, they have people who donate blood to them, and um, they work at night, sleep during the day, they do eat food. It is kind of crazy if you ask me, but to each is their own. Maybe one day I can go out and interview a couple of these people for you guys. They kind of stay hidden because they really believe they're vampires, but however, I have met a few of them on Halloween, which is my favorite time of the year they come out a lot of them and they literally have the dental work done where they have the fangs they have different colored eyes the contacts the long hair they're gothic looking really really cool um so yeah maybe one day i'll do that if i can ever get the time to do it i'm like really pressed for time and all anyways guys i have christine here about a haunted car you know some people say their pictures are haunted or items i have annabelle here which was a haunted doll um possessed by spirit well guess what so is christine um we have the unborn here. This is not a classic, but however, it really was pretty good. Yeah, definitely not bad for a newer uh, horror flick. The Lost Boys here, again, vampires. I'm not going to go through all of this, just some of my favorites. Insidious was a very good one. Um, again, up-to-date horror. You don't really understand it if you don't have part two. They kind of like go together. You understand? Y'all you know I mean? We have here definite classic. This is Stephen King's Pet Cemetery 1 and 2. And I loved this. This is about where you... Um, then the first one, the cat died. They brought it to this place called Pet Cemetery, and the cat came back. And the second one, kind of the same, except this time they was burying people there, and they were coming back as zombies. Um, a classic here, which I love very much. Interview with the Vampire guys. This was made here in New Orleans. Um, I love the antebellum plantations. If you ever come here, if you haven't already been here, you need to visit one or two or a couple of our plantations. They're very pretty, very haunted. 
So, yes, I definitely love this one. What else? Let's see. We have Cujo here, which was okay. This kind of started, um, like, the horror of dogs, uh, so to speak. And then was followed by Man's Best Friend, which is kind of like an update to Cujo. Um, and they were good. They wasn't bad. We have Boogeyman here, which I would kind of think would be like your classic Boogeyman movie. Um, I liked it. Final Destination 3, not my favorite horror because it's not about boogeymans. I like boogeymans and vampires and werewolves and, and banshees and, and hounds of hell and stuff like that. I like folklore and, and legends and stuff, even though a lot of legends and folklore is turning out to actually be real. The Covenant here, I love this movie. I am a fan of of witches too I guess again it's classic we have skinwalkers here this is werewolves so of course I love it let's see this one guys if you have not seen black Christmas I don't think it's going to interest you unless you're a guy a young guy maybe because this is about some sorority girls that lived in this, they live in a sorority house, and some crazy guy who used to live in the house, um, they had locked him up for murdering people or something, and he was in the attic, and he ended up killing everybody. Of course, at the end, he gets killed. Not, not a real good scary movie. Wishmaster 3, oops. I was spitting, guys. I'm sorry. Very excited to be doing this video for you guys, I guess. Um, this is a classic. Can you see the picture of the devil right there? So, definitely classic horror. This right here, again, this is classical. If you could see the pictures on the back right there, you could see that it's an older movie. Um, it's about Halloween, season of the witch. My son loves it. The Ninth Gate, it was okay. Mothman prophecies, again, legend that turned out to be true because a lot of people claim to have really seen the Mothman. I haven't though. A classic here, guys. A werewolf in London. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I hope you people who are watching my channel are into all this stuff like I am. I'm not crazy, guys. I have just always been into the whole horror theme. I've always loved Halloween. Um, I don't know why ever since I was little. But anyways, moving on. I'm not going to go into this big babble story. Here is definitely one of my favorites because it is a haunting it's um a series this is seasons one through six and it's about people telling their paranormal experience so if you like to hear those type of things and you haven't already seen this or don't already have it you can get this off of amazon you can find it on ebay you could probably find it at walmart um it's it's definitely really good some really good stories um and that's all for now because some of these movies like jeepers creepers the texas chainsaw massacre stuff like that to me it's not real classic i just wanted to share some some of me with you guys and since my whole channel is new and stuff just wanted you guys to know that I love horror, period. It goes beyond my paranormal experiences. And by the way, I do have a lot more things I'd like to get on video for you guys, which will come in time. But today, I just wanted to do like two videos. Maybe if I could think of something later I'd like to share with you guys, I'll do a third. Anyways, guys, that is it for now. 
Um, if you like my videos and want to watch more, please like and subscribe. I would love to grow my little Banshee family. And you guys have a great, great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.